Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very simple double jump system in Roblox Studio. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go into the View tab, and on the left side, just open the Explorer, as for today's tutorial, we only need that. After that, go to the right side of the screen where your Explorer should be, and find the starter player. Open that up, and then find the starter character scripts. Click the plus and enter in a local script. You can rename the local script if you want, um, but this is completely optional. So I'm just going to name mine double jump, but you don't have to name yours if you don't want to. After that, you can go into the script and you can write what I write or find the link to the script in the description down below. So the first part is we're going to need all the variables. So local UIS equals to game colon get service and then quotation marks, the user input service. After that, go down the line and then write local humanoid equals to script dot parent colon wait for child and then quotation marks humanoid. After that, go down the line and then write local double jumped equals to false and then go down the line and then write local jumped equals to false. So the first line here, we're just getting the input service from the game. And the second line is we're getting the character's humanoid, which is like your actual character inside the game. And then we're just setting two different variables to help us create the double jump system. So one is to check if they have already double jumped and the other one is just to check if they have jumped. So once we have that, we can go down two lines and then we can write UIS dot jump request colon connect function put in the brackets and then go down the line and then write if not jumped then go down the line and then write jumped equals to true and then go down the line and then write if humanoid dot floor material so make sure that it's written exactly like that unequals so we need this little key right here it looks like a little squiggly line and then beside, put that beside an equal sign. And this just means like it's not equal. And then enum.material.air. Then go down the line. And then write double jumped equals to false. And then go down the line. Write task.weight. And then put in 0 0.2. And then go down another line. And then write jumped equals to false. So what this means is when the um, user like requests a jump or like presses space bar or if they're on mobile presses the jump button then we're going to check if the player has jumped if they have not jumped then we're going to set the jumped variable to true and then we're going to check if the humanoid floor material or like what the humanoid is on if it's not in the air that means they have not double jumped and after 0.2 seconds we set jumped back to false. So after that, you can go down a line and then write else if not double jumped, then go down a line and then write humanoid colon change state and then put in brackets. So make sure it looks exactly like this with the C and the S capitalized with brackets at the end. And then inside the brackets, just write enum dot humanoid state type dot jumping. After that, go down the line and then write double jumped equals to true and then task dot weight 0 0.2 and then go down the line and then write jumped equals to false. So what this means is if they have not double jumped, then we're going to change the humanoid state back to jumping, which means it will just jump again. And then this means that double jump is true. So we'll set that variable back to true. And after 0.2 seconds, we'll set jump back to false. So your script should look something like this and we can go test it out. So here I am inside the game. As you can see, if I jump once, then it's just a regular jump. But if I try to jump mid air, you can see that I can jump in the air. Just like that. So right now, I'm just going to make a few blocks to show you the double jump more clearly. So I'm back in here, as you can see. Um, most of these blocks I can get up with one jump, but like, for example, this tall one, I cannot get up with one jump. So what I can do is just double jump my way up there, just like that. 
as you can see one jump and i can't make it to the top but if i double jump i can make it to the top of the block so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial um if you liked it make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you guys next time bye